Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be going over some Plat 3 gameplay and learning how to get your chance at diamond level gameplay. We're going to go over some twos, uh, and we're going to try to look at some things you can improve your gameplay and why you're still stuck in that Plat 3 rank. I know there's a lot of you stuck in that Plat rank, and a lot of you guys are asking for some help. We're going to review this guy's gameplay, and hopefully it helps out a lot of you guys. Uh, we do have a 100 key giveaway going on in the description below. I hope you guys check that out um, and get your chance at 100 keys. And I hope you guys know that you can get your replay reviewed in the Discord uh, at the replay analysis text channel in the Discord below as well. Uh, hopefully you guys take the time to subscribe if you enjoy the content and let's get started. All right, guys, so let's get started with some Plat 3 gameplay. He's on the PC. We're playing some 2v2s, and this is sitting about Plat gameplay. Um, like I said, Plat 3 gameplay. So we'll see what happens here. He's playing really defensive right now. He's got pretty far back on the camera settings, I believe. Um, so let's see right here. I feel like he put himself in a rough situation. Um, let's head back a little bit here. So he starts pushing up right here. Uh, this is fine. To, you know, he's playing good right here. Spots. Spots gets a bad touch, um, just puts the ball straight into them for a pass. Um, he, he waited to jump quite a long time here, which makes it really rough. And you can tell by the angle he's going, he's going to completely miss this as it's going to hit his left side. Uh, this becomes just a mechanical error at that point. Um, he was in a decent position. Uh, his teammate kind of made him have to go for a hard hit, and he messed up in a little miss. He could have waited as well, but not a big deal. We'll see what else he's got. So he does this thing where he waits in net. Uh, this is something I don't recommend for a lot of people, as you're not really you're not getting any boost and you're not following. Um, but it is the safe way to go about probably not getting kickoff goals scored against you, so it's not a big deal. Uh, so right here, that was great awareness by you. I want to show everybody. This is great awareness by you to realize he's turning for this. He should not be turning for this, by the way. Uh, he should see you right there. He literally looks at you and then turns around and. For the ball um but great awareness by turning away right there and kind of looking for a pass off this backboard hopefully so he's you're i'm assuming you're realizing your teammates kind of ball chasing at this point um which could be a fine thing for you it's not going to be a big deal as long as you play it correctly um you're still kind of playing really far back um right here you have a chance at something uh you kind of just put it against the wall not much not much of a chance there for you as you kind of just threw it against the wall. Let's take a look here because I think this a lot of plat players do this where they they kind of just do they kind of do pointless hits. You know what I mean? Like they kind of just throw the ball into the wall. Um, and right here, you have a chance. Like everybody's out of play. Everybody is literally out of this play right now. You see the guy Altair or whatever his name is is in the net, so he might have a chance at this. Uh, but you kind of just go and you know get a useless touch doesn't really do much I'm assuming they get the touch right here yeah so they kind of pass it all the way back to your side uh, you have good awareness right now you're kind of looking at the ball and your teammate um, kind of checking it all out I don't love your camera settings I would take a look honestly I'm gonna say this real quick I mean if you're comfortable with them and you're you're making it work you do you but I would take a look at the uh, the video I have up. It's called the, um, what is it, every or all RLCS pro players camera settings. Uh, it literally has a list of every pro player's camera settings. You can take a look at that. And I would try some of theirs out as like this, these camera settings just seem so uh, so far back. You, you're zoomed out a lot. Your your angle, you're looking down at your car. It seems like a, like a pretty heavy, heavily amount. I kind of want to know what your camera settings are. Um, but I, I don't know if that's a big deal to you, uh, but it could it could affect your gameplay quite a bit um, if you're not fully comfortable with what you got going. Yet again, your spots wood guy is kind of just rotating around the field right in front of you. You can't really do much, so I'm understanding your uh, your defensive play style right now. Um, it makes sense. Right here, this is definitely your ball. Uh, look at that, your teammate cut in yet again. This would be very hard not to flame your teammate. I'm assuming this has got to be kind of upsetting unless he's talked about this before this game started about the situation um okay so you you tried the little looks like you tried to carry it or bop it there uh it didn't turn out too bad yet uh, your teammate should have control there you do have great awareness though um as your teammate turns around again you have great awareness so far so that's definitely one of your positives 
Um, your gameplay seems a tad slow, maybe. Like right there, that's a 50 you should probably get. Um, in Plat 3, you should probably be able to get this 50. As it is kind of like right in front of you. I don't know if you thought your teammate was going to hit. And then you were trying to go for a pinch. If that's the case, then I understand. But you you just straight missed uh, kind of a ball that was moving at like one mile an hour. So I feel like you would probably have hit that. Um, you have good rotation as well. It looks like you're going back net. Um, which really should be helpful. Uh, it's okay hit right there. You kind of put it away from them. Your teammate got a good 50. You might... Yeah, that's in. So... Looks like you know how to play with good awareness and rotational ability, which is always good, always positive. Uh, definitely should be going for this ball. Um, I'm going to go back and take a look at this. I feel like you're just you're hesitating a lot. You're not fast enough. Like right here, you should be booking it for that ball. You could easily beat the guy that's going for a boost in their corner. You saw Editor is kind of taking that, or Auditor is taking that um, boost on the side. You can easily beat the opponent for this ball. Um looks like you hesitate so much okay somehow you still beat him um really you should have got beat there because you waited too long uh but good challenge right there you really didn't have much so you didn't throw yourself out of the play uh you tried to turn and get a challenge there you're going back post this is good uh your teammate kind of misses and he goes for it again it seems like you're going off ball cam a whole lot um to hit some of these balls i don't i don't know if that's the way to go uh, if you're getting used to it that's, i guess that might work for you but i would suggest keeping ball cam on for a lot of these things um, unless you're like dribbling or you basically have like the touch incoming some of these uh camera settings are just crazy to me um but if they work for you man keep it up because it's not really hurting you yet So you got good here. Uh, you're hoping your teammate's right, it seemed like. Your teammate could have been up for a pass there. He wasn't. Um, you you honestly played that pretty good. You For your dribbling ability, I'm sure it's not insanely well yet at plat three. But, you know, that wasn't too bad. You had a, you had a good chance at a pass uh, if your teammate came up. Uh, fairly good good stop right there. Um, it's like right there, your camera was crazy. I'm hoping this is a replay glitch, honestly, but... So right here, you should definitely have ball cam on, I feel like. But I don't think you do because it switches camera modes at the end and you're way off. So I think you are you need to take ball cam off actually a lot less. You need to be having that ball cam on so you know where the ball's at at all times. And you can kind of predict uh, angles a lot better, in my opinion. Um, as well as these camera settings being a little whack. So right here, you got them off. Um... You got it off. Oh, this is his. I'm hoping you're going to go for a pass. Uh, he missed, so you're good. That was a good beat. And it wasn't a terrible use of your ball cam. Or knocking it off ball cam. And that's a good play right there. Yeah, I definitely think you use uh, you go off your ball cam way too, way too often. But, you know, that was a good play. So, you can't say much about that. Uh, you should be able to get to this ball. You should be already booking on it. Um, you waited a long time. You picked up boost when you already had enough. So let's take a look at this. So you have 86 boost. You have 76 boost. You have plenty of boost. No need to go for this boost. You could have went for this ball a little bit earlier. Uh, instead, you go and you collect this nether 100 boost. And then you go for the ball. The only reason this works is because this is plat 3. If this was any high rank, they would have already been on that ball and contested it. So you're really lucky that they didn't come challenge that ball. You need to start getting a little bit faster probably with your hits in uh, twos. I know it is two, so you get a little bit more time, but not usually that much. So you just kind of bang it up, see what happens it looks like. Um, as you hit that one middle, it's a good pass. Uh, your teammate almost got a good shot. Uh, you've looks like you're boosting back to net which is you know that wasn't terrible i do want to say one thing though right here you probably could have cut that off because you do let your let's go back a little bit more we're gonna head back a little bit more here so right here you see this you could probably if you have the ability or skills to catch this ball on your right side of your car you could take this ball to the wall and you have it's a lot safer than this uh going all the way back to post is dangerous as heck because if this guy went straight for the ball, if he was a little bit faster, this this ball's getting clanged right over top of you or to the side of you, or it's gonna be a pass and you're gonna you're gonna get scored on most likely, as it almost already was a good pass to his teammate. So, um, just a little bit more speed is what I'm seeing, a little less hesitation. 
it it kind of seems like you got the uh, rotation and awareness down, but you actually don't have the speed and mechanics down. So it's kind of opposite than what I usually see, which you know isn't a big deal. Um, mechanics just take a little bit of time, and you know if you have rotation ability and awareness, that that'll definitely help you in your upcoming games for sure. So right here, you need to be collecting some boosts. You kind of wash the ball without getting any boost pads. Uh, that's a good pop right there, maybe. Um, I'll strike right now. It's not not bad speed right there, and it looks like you might beat him to this one. No, you got beat a little bit there. Just check out what you're doing. Um, okay, so you're doing a lot of just kind of circling on your own half when there's not really a purpose. So you see he has the ball. You should be following this up. I don't know. Right here you turn around. Um, I don't really know why. You have 40 boost. You have plenty of boost. You could pick up some small pads on the way even. So you, you kind of turn around for no reason. You're not giving your teammate any help on the passes. You're kind of just letting him 1v2 and up front on offense, and he's not going to probably score in a 1v2. Um, way to let your teammate have that ball, though. 12 seconds left. This might go in overtime. Uh, we'll see what happens here. That's a good 50 right there. Uh, good beat. Uh, nice touch. Teammate might be able to keep that up. Okay, so I place it now. So now we're in overtime at the 2-2 two to two mark. Um, kind of gets 50 to the side. Your teammate should have this ball. You're kind of rotating back to net. That's good. You picked up some small pads, which is very, very good. Um, it's a good beat by your teammate. Your teammate doesn't look like he's plat three mechanics. Um, his rotational ability and awareness doesn't look to be great, but his uh, mechanics themselves are probably higher than plat three. Uh, that's a very dangerous hit. That could have been a goal. We're going to go back over this. I'm sure you didn't try to single jump, but... I guess if you saw where their other guy was and knew he was all the way back in that corner, I honestly didn't see him, so I feel like it would have been really rough for you to see him even. But playing it like that is very dangerous either way because Auditor actually almost could have made a play on it even. Uh, so you want to flip into the ball, side flip into the ball, make sure you you know take it out of your side of the net a little bit. Um, looks like yeah, so he's going for ceiling shots in plat three, so that's probably not a plat player. But um, so this is your hit. Uh, not a bad hit. Kind of puts it to the side. You're going to rotate back a little bit. This is definitely your hit. Uh, good hit right there. You could have maybe put that to the left. I want to take a look at this. As I feel like you could have taken this a shot right here. Uh, they were out of position. You could have probably taken a good shot there. But, you know, you might be able to finish this either way. Uh, nope. We beat you to it. And your teammate got demoed. This could be rough. I would turn right. So right here. It does work out for you because your teammate spawns in the right corner. But right here, your first initial uh, play should be rotating to that ball. Um, your teammate just got killed. He's going to respawn. He's going to be able to be at net. You should be already flying at this ball. You get really, really lucky with that spawn. And he spawns like right in front of the ball. So he's going to be able to challenge the ball for you. Worked out. Uh, your teammate kind of passes it, but it shouldn't be a problem. Kind of got juked there a little bit with that touch. You're heading back. Uh, he gets a decent hit middle. Um, so your teammate's kind of going for every hit, if you can't tell. Like right here, he's he's going for this boost to kind of cut in front of you again. And he cuts in front of you either way, even though he doesn't have the boost. So he's playing really, really, really aggressive. He seems like kind of like a diamond player trying to carry you, honestly. Kind of is the mentality I got going right now. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Now, that was an insane shot. Um, I don't know how intentional that shot was, but very, 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 very good shot. Let's watch that one more time. Let's rotate it all the way back. Watch this game-winning shot. Um, your mechanics came out this shot for sure. You did boost into that ball. did look intentional. Uh, congratulations on that win. Um, overall, like I said, your awareness, your rotational ability is pretty good. You just hesitate a little bit too much. You're a little bit slower to the ball than your teammate was. Um, your mechanics could have been a little bit better until that last shot. They were a little bit slower, I feel like. Um, but overall, your awareness was pretty good. Your ball cam, um, work on that maybe. Try to have it on ball cam a little bit more. It might make your touches and your 
your big clears a little bit more accurate. Uh, overall, is really good gameplay though. Um, for a plat three, that's not bad at all. Uh, you just have a few things that you need to work on. Um, I hope you guys like this video today, and I hope to wake up for that shake up on Discord. I hope you appreciate the review, and if anyone else wants to get theirs reviewed, you can go to the Discord in the link description below. Uh, you can join that Discord and go to the Replay Analysis Text Channel and get your replay reviewed for free. And there's also a 100 key giveaway going on in the Discord description below. Uh, it's actually not in the Discord. It's uh, the Gleam link below, and you can enter the Discord and react to get your free 100 key giveaway chance. I appreciate everyone coming out today to watch this video, and I hope you guys learned a lot and how to rank up to that diamond level play. See you guys next time.